Hey guys, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're here. Today we've got an unboxing that I am very stoked about. It was in an envelope. I took it out of the envelope, then in a box from White Mountain Knives. Before I get started, real quickly, I just want to thank the channel members. Thank you all so much. And I want to invite any of you who might be new, just stopping by for the first time. If you like EDC knife content, please click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. It'll notify you when I release new videos like this unboxing that I'm getting ready to do. And then if you guys are over on IG and you'd like to connect over there, give me a follow, drop me a DM, I'll follow you back and we'll connect over there. I post pocket dumps and things like that. But anyway, like I said, this is a highly anticipated unboxing coming to us today from White Mountain Knives. The unboxing knife is going to be the Flytanium Arcade. And let's get into this and see what we will be looking at. I'm sure most of you probably can guess what this is going to be since I'm slow to the party and I get things a day later than everybody else. But I got a couple of little things. All right, guys. So what I've got here is our friend, uh, Lefty EDC and Colin Mason Pierre Devo Knives, the Growler. I picked up the Belt Satin 154CM in the Wave Carbon Fiber. And then I grabbed an extra hardware kit. Comes with bearings, comes with a clip, comes with um, pivot collars, uh, backspacer, so, and some hardware. So if I want to change that out, I might do that down the road might be another video but let's get into this all right so we got a little devo knives cloth our growler sticker this is our v2 growler and the knife all right guys so far I'm liking the look of the carbon fiber while I obsessively, with my demented brain, try to box this back up and get it out of the way. All right, so this is the Devo Growler and weave carbon fiber. As you guys can see there, she's perfectly centered. Got a blue backspacer, blue pivot collars, which I kind of like. I don't know how that'll look with purple, but I can check it out. And guys, I know what Lefty was saying now about this carbon fiber. It is very, very smooth, free of voids, thick carbon fiber. Um, let's see how she flicks. <laughs> guys, what a huge, huge, huge feel that was. I like the V1 Devo Growler. I was always a fan of it. I knew that it was a little bit lighter than, than Kev would probably like, but for me it was always fine. You know, I always found it to be a very able knife and a very flippable knife, um, but it doesn't snap like that. So one thing, just first objection, uh, not objection, first observation out of the gate is the finger hole being shrunk down, being smaller to where your finger, a finger my size can't slip through it, makes a huge difference. And it just feels great. It, um, the contoured handles are a big improvement over the V1. The jimping on the blade is, feels great in hand. You can see the difference in that blade hole there. Again, I've never had any problem flicking this knife. The detents up as I stick my finger through the hole because I'm under a camera. But I love, love, love the belt satin. And I can see the belt satin nicely there. I know Lefty said they were, this was their first attempt at belt satin um, on the video that he did. But I can definitely see the belt marks, both horizontal there on the flat and then vertical on the belt. Guys, this has always been one of my favorite Devo knives. 
I love the ergonomics of it. I love the way that it carries. Um, I love the way that it cuts. Let's see how it cuts. I haven't cut with the V2 yet. Very slicey. And you guys know this is that Smoky Mountain Knife Works phone book paper. And you know I'm a mentally challenged slicer. But when I hit the blade on the paper, it slices like butter. So very, very slicey, very refined. I would say, um, full disclosure, Lefty EDC, Kevin's a personal friend of mine, but I would be the first to call him out if I thought the knife was not what I thought it should be. Um, in a nice way, of course. But again, I've been a fan of Devo since, I think my first Devo knife was the Growler V1. Um, then I picked up a mash, V2, and I picked up the Little Pony Stout, but just seeing the evolution from one design to another, I don't remember if this is a year old, if this is eight months old, I can't keep time of dates, but just to see the refinement that went into an already favorite model of mine. I'm speaking personally of my experience, of the way it makes me feel, and that's something that's very subjective, and I realize that. But what I can tell everyone objectively, if you've not experienced this knife, if you've got one coming, congratulations, you're going to love it. I have a feeling there will be more produced, and I have a feeling that this knife is going to be a home run when other people get it and talk about it. I give it the Javon huge word up. It's awesome. Um, again, the belt satin is dynamite. The carbon fiber that's contoured, that's just perfect, is a huge improvement over what I thought was just fine with my Carta. Um, the blade hole. I mean, I can't tell you guys what a difference that makes to somebody with a finger like mine, because if I'm not careful, I get that hot dog down the hallway feeling, which I know how to avoid that, but when you do that, all you can do is quack like a duck. You can't get it to flip. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I appreciate you. I'm glad you're all here. If the sound sucks on this, it's because I forgot to put in the mic. So this is just coming through my iPhone speaker. But we're going to roll with it because that's how we do it here. I am going to ask that you look out for the guy or gal to your left. That you look out for the guy or gal to your right. You look out for each other. You go forward with love in your heart. You choose debate. You don't choose hate. And know that I love you all. Peace.